The referee checking that everyone was in position, ready to roll, and they are now ready to wrestle. Well, there's a start for you. Dr. is really aggressive there. Yeah, quick push out, just drove right into it. Boom, boom, boom. I don't think these two want to see any passivity points uh, determining the action, that's for sure. Yep, certainly not by the start anyway. Kuliev trying to respond in his own way. Well, that was certainly a tactic that I could see clearly in the freestyle was that explosive start, catch your opponent unawares. So Rabi Dattarishvili doing just that, but he's on the back foot now. He's, well, he does well just to circle back to the centre of the mat. Trying to hook under there, Kuliev. Has he lost that single arm on the opposite side? Dattarishvili grabbed it, got it. Two, and now the reversal the other way for the Belarusian. So three to one, a lot of action here in the first 71 seconds of this bout. Well, because there's so much action, there's always space for confusion. The referee just have a little look to say, I'm not sure what it's for either. But amidst the flailing limbs, they're looking for a challenge here. Let's try and decipher what it could be for. I don't know, maybe they think he was using the legs, I don't know. Was he out of the mat when he got that too? It's well, hard to tell from that angle. Oh, he's got, he's got a leg in. <laughs> Could be that. I mean, he threw in the boots, not exactly something you see in Greco too often. So there's one point signaled for Blue here. Yeah, lost challenge. Well, actually, the challenge came from the red corner. Yeah, unsuccessful challenge, isn't it? So point I did. I was looking for what the red guy did wrong. I thought the challenge came from the blue corner initially. I guess I need to pay a little more attention to what I'm watching. <laughs> Amidst the flying legs and arms, it was hard to decipher it. The referee and video jury, they couldn't decipher it either. So a handy score for Datanishvili. And no more video challenge for Kuliev. At a pretty early stage in the proceedings. And as you said, Jason, in that just 70 second period. Lots of points on the board. Kuliev now going to have to do something. Head to head in the centre here. 40 seconds left. The referee having a, another look at Datanishvili. Well, it started quickly, and the Georgian is just trying to take the steam out of the tyres here of Kuliev, slow things down. Busting effort from both men into the last 10. They've been physically engaged all the way through. Dantonish really just had a sneaky look around the, the corner of the elbow there of Kuliev just to check the time. The time ticks down and the scoreboard tells the story. 4 1 to Georgia. I thank everybody watching around the world. If you're in the United States watching on trackwrestling.com, if you're at home watching on various television networks of your choosing or watching online around the world at unitedwrestling.org, along with John Cullen, Jason Bryant here with you at the 2017 European Wrestling Championships in Novosad, Serbia. Spins Sports Center, the final day of competition, 71, 75, 80, and 85 kilos being wrestled. We're currently in the second period of our gold medal final at 85 kilos. Scratch that, we're at 80 kilos still. 85 is next. Yeah, that's to look forward to. 
I'll just echo those sentiments of Jason. It's been a pleasure to share it all with you. Amazing how quickly the time goes. Not only is it the final day, how did it become 2017? I don't know. Time just keeps marching on, and it's marching away from Kuliev at the moment. A real headbutt on the inside there. I don't think it was intentional. Referee's like, yo, come here. Now, I think Kuliev brought that injury in. He came in with that big shiner to start with. Which is understandable. They're constantly clashing heads and rutting and butting away here. That's it, Kuliev. Can he find something? Well, that'll help. The last couple of minutes in this one here. Gold and silver at stake. It's that two-point margin now. Datanishvili, well, he started off so well in the first period, he's gone very quiet. Has he lost the momentum here, or is he just summing it up, the last bits of energy for a final flurry? He's got to maintain position here because Last thing you want to do is flee and get hit with a caution in two. Which we haven't seen a whole lot of fleeing calls throughout the course of our Greco finals the last two nights. Or actually throughout the course of the tournament. I was yep. just checking out the earlier sessions here in Novi Sad. So our, our unofficial team numbers were, uh, were accurate as we're looking at the Belarusian Kuliev try to push the pace. There's a passivity warning offered against Detunishvili. Next one will be a point. Hungary still sitting in the lead with 47 points. Russia with 43. Belarus officially into third with 34. Serbia now out of trophy contention for the moment with 29. Bulgaria in firing range, as is Turkey, with 24 points apiece. Well, the points on the team scores, well, they will be altered by the result of this one here. Kuliev trying to pull himself back into this one. 30 seconds old for Dantanishvili as an attacking force. He's not been there in the second period. He's just defended. Tactically, he's got it right. Can he hang on in there? The last 20 seconds for the gold. And we have a whistle. We have an admonishment and attention. Against Detunishvili. 15 to go. Well, the European Championship title. Heading by way of Georgia. Zurab Datanishvili started so well in the first big haymaker attempt at the end there, flying across from Kuliev. He didn't want the silver. He's got it though. But a deserved gold medal there. And gets lat dropped by his coach. I don't know what was more painful, the kiss or the throw. Either way, superb performance from the champion, Zurabi Datanishvili, with that gold. 